to share with you the three most important concepts that will help improve your watercolour. I'm convinced that these three concepts will help you improve and help you enjoy your painting. You don't need to start by learning colour theory, not at all. In fact, after teaching hundreds of watercolour students, I'm now convinced that many, many people have an intuitive sense of colour theory. The wet on wet technique is a fundamental technique in watercolour painting. It involves applying wet paint into a wet surface and allowing the colours to blend and it creates beautiful soft edges. It can be used to create a range of effects from smooth washes to more textured and expressive marks. So it's worth taking your time to practice because from practicing the wet in wet technique you get joy and once you get joy you want to practice it again and as soon as you want to practice it again you get better and then you get more joy and that leads to getting better. The next thing to start to the master is layering and glazing. Layering and glazing are incredibly similar and they're both used to create depth and richness in your watercolour paintings. Layering involves building up multiple layers of paint and allowing each layer to dry before adding the next to create a sense of depth and texture. Glazing involves applying thin transparent layers over paint, over dry areas of your painting to create a subtle and luminous effect. Experiment with different colours and layering techniques and this will create depth and interest in your paintings. Of all the three things that I recommend you play with, tone would be number one. In this painting that i am been painting in the background here, uh, the painting about gum leaves, I've used all three concepts wet and wet. So every single time I painted every leaf, I've painted it with the wet and wet technique where I lay down a wash and I drop in some colour. Or I wait, lay down some water and I drop in some colour. Or I lay down a thick wash as I am with these darker leaves here and drop in just more colour. I'm dropping in the brown into the green. Tone in watercolour is harder to master. So that's why I'm mentioning it as number three, but it really is the most important thing in any sort of art media. So it wouldn't really matter what you were playing in. Tone is number one. In this painting, I've come in with a really pale wash of green leaves and I'm sure by this stage you know that that means that your paint is really really watery and then I painted a second layer of leaves which means that your paint is more viscous so you go from a really really watery wash that's like really really weak weak tea and then you move into kind of milky tea and then when you get darker again, you get into a little bit of Vegemite with a bit of water added, or perhaps you'd call it yogurt. It's the thick stuff, but it needs to be wet enough so that it moves. And that's what I'm doing on this final layer here. I'm coming in with my lovely dark tones and the paint I'm dipping into is quite viscous. It's not straight out of the tube, it just has enough water so that it moves about on the page and moves about with the brush. I hope you might grab your paints and get them out and do a little bit of play because that is absolutely an important part of getting better in watercolour is to be playful. So paint without any purpose. Just paint like a child who sits down and thinks, oh, what shall I paint today? And doesn't have an outcome in mind. They sit down and they just grab paint and they up begin applying it to the page or the canvas, depending on what they've uh, got going. I'll insert a little bit here of my granddaughter and this is how she paints. She's three years old and she paints without any plan. I never ask her what it is she's going to paint, she just begins the process. She just likes the joy that she finds in getting the paint down. So thank you so much for joining me and please watch this video to the end, that really helps me out. And please give it a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. Thanks so much guys. See you next time. Bye.